Right guys, uh, just a another little test while I've got some time on the um, Langsless generator we're going to attempt. Um, this video is about core drag on the rotor with your rotating magnets in it. Um, I have this little bit of core which is what we used in the last video you've seen. We have a magnet stuck on it. Um, the south side is down so this whole core here will be a south field I have two north facing out magnets on the rotor very small rotor, very small motor and um, large magnets and you will hear the vibrations and all sorts of noises when we go and put our core next to the rotating magnet so this is really a worst case scenario if there was going to be um, some form of drag we will see that um, very evidently with this little tiny rotor that has no weight at all to it um, like I said the magnets are very strong in 52s moving this whole board around and of course with attracting fields on both magnets makes it even worse. Uh, just a little PWM speed controller. I have it hooked up to my power supply which I've pulled apart, chopped out half the bits and pieces. Uh, we can only go up in step voltages now uh, until such time as I fix the board which does have a few burnt out parts in it. This meter here is our amp draw coming out of the power supply through the meter and then into the PWM and this meter here will be reading the voltage across the motor terminals. So I will start it up. And we will let it settle. So we're on about 82, 83 milliamp draw and about 13.1 volts across the motor. Now depending on how our power stability is on the line, this voltage will go up and down slightly and so will the amps. The voltage supplied to our home out here isn't really stable at all, as you can see by that. And I do have a smallish cap here to try and smooth it out a bit and also one in the power supply but um, as you can see it does go up and down but we will get a general idea as to what's going to happen so this will get noisy because it's a very strong pull towards the uh, core um, with the magnets in attracting mode um, I've set up like this so you can see these two meters when I move the core in and out towards the wheel. If we turn it around, we get a different effect. As you can hear, it's pulling very, very hard. You can see as soon as I put the core next to the magnets,
So other than our power voltage and the lines jumping all over the place, I'm really not seeing any change at all in amp draw, maybe even a little less. Uh, just to show you that it's legit and not some sort of Bedini setup. I only have to just touch the flywheel and you can see. And that's so uh, very, very lightly doing that. Our amp drill does indeed go up when we load the flywheel. And the voltage across the motor will go down. So it's not very hard, you don't have to put much pressure at all to get 100 milliamp draw on it. in actual fact think that it's actually helping it a little bit ever so slightly but there is um, doesn't seem to make any difference at all so um, so far it's my conclusion that uh, core drag on a rotating magnet is myth, really, looking at that, and um, also having this magnet in a traction mode to these magnets makes it even worse, as you can hear, so um, nothing in it at all, I don't think. continue on and um, build a decent sized rotor and do another test, see how we go. Cheers from the tin man. <laughs>